Hello everyone, happy Friday. I'm George, you can find me as uh, Volquero in various uh, Amiga forums. Uh, welcome to my stream, I'm glad I'm having you here. Uh, welcome everyone. Uh, as you can see today we returned back to my Amiga 1200 and I'm really glad uh, on doing that because uh, this is my beloved uh, computer. Hello Falcon11, welcome to the stream. Uh, I don't know if you have seen uh, my announcement uh, since yesterday about the topic that we are going to, to see today, but uh, this is going to be a, a hardware stream. Uh, I, don't, I haven't done any hardware stream before and uh, this is going to be the, one, the first one and uh, I hope it is going to be interesting for you. Uh, Falcon 11 says notification is working. That's great. That's great. And I left a little bit of uh, time until everyone joins um, so that you can have uh, more time to do so. Uh, and yeah, today is going to be an uh, interesting stream uh, because I'm going to open this uh, Amiga and uh, we are going to install something interesting. Hello PPC603, welcome to the stream. Glad you're here. And uh, yeah, you probably, um, some of you felt a little bit uh, jealous about your PC uh, friends who have all these um, uh, keyboards with uh, different lights uh, on there and uh, playing uh, uh, different um, uh, waves of lighting and things like that. And today we are going to see how you can do it uh, with an Amiga, but not on the keyboard, but on the on the shell of the Amiga. Uh, hello, Livelord, welcome to the stream. So today uh, I want to talk to you, to you about. Uh, first of all, let me stop the music. Okay, like that. And yeah, I want to talk to you about uh, an industry hardware that I um, got a few days ago. I only opened that uh, once to take some uh, photographs and um, I never tried that yet. So uh, today, let me change the camera, uh, top camera, yeah. So today I would like to talk to you about this little board here. Uh, let me see. which is, I don't know if it is visible, yep, that's the Solas uh, board. We are going to uh, install it here live on the, uh, this stream. Uh, Rob uh, Cronley, who is uh, uh, making them, uh, kindly uh, sent me one uh, and uh, this is what we are going to talk about today. We are going to see how I will install it on my uh, Amiga and also we are going to see um, the installation of the software and what you can do with that. I hope I'm not going to burn my uh, 1200 <laughs> because this is not going to be an interesting uh, stream. Along with the uh, Solas, uh, Rob sent me the necessary cabling, uh, which is of course the LED strip like that, which is going to be uh, glued under, under the, this area and you will be able to see the lights through these um, openings in the uh, case. And then we have also this um, kickstart razor, which is necessary so to connect uh, the Solas board with the kickstart, some kickstart uh, here uh, pins that uh, give extra uh, uh, data to, to Solas. And then we have some uh, power uh, LEDs and, uh, uh, sorry, some power cords and some uh, sensors that have to do uh, for reading the, uh, the case or the CPU uh, temperature and show that on the uh, on the application of Solas. So uh, that's the, the, the board of Solas. Uh, 
unfortunately, as uh, Rob uh, told me, uh, it's difficult to find all the parts right now uh, to create uh, many new boards. But I will say to you that if you are interested to, to buy one, uh, try to contact uh, Rob and see if uh, he has anything uh, ready and uh, if he can create something uh, for you as well. And that's the underneath of the board. Uh, yeah, it, it seems like a very good... Um, the, the solace board is very good implemented uh, and very professional. So I like that. And uh, let's move on with the opening of the Amiga. Uh, first of all, I'm going to shut it down and remove uh, some of the parts. The PCMCIA, some cabling here, power cable. Let me move the parts that we need at the side. Uh, Falcon Leather says, will be this board has displayed to something uh, so or only software? This uh, board doesn't have uh, currently um, any display uh, to show th things on that. The, uh, the things that it has here uh, at that side, it has uh, two uh, headers to connect the LED strips. If you want to have uh, more than one uh, LED strips, I have just one right now and here uh, you will see these three headers are uh, clock port headers. So uh, with uh, this uh, board, you can uh, use your clock port of your Amiga and connect multiple um, uh, devices there. I think temperature uh, sensors are to show uh, RPM. Yeah. Uh, about RPM, I'm not sure. But we will see, we will see. Uh, and we are going to follow the... Because I don't know how these sensors are going to um, know about the RPM of the... Um, possibly if you have any fan on your system. I don't have any uh, like that, but we will see how it goes. And most of these... Um, uh, headers here are, for example, these two white headers are for uh, taking uh, power from the um, from the floppy power. You connect it here, and then you return that to your floppy. So this is uh, something that we are going to use. And I think this one here is uh, for taking uh, information from the uh, LEDs from the motherboard and then uh, send it to your lights on your uh, desktop but uh, you are also uh, it is also possible if i'm not wrong to get information from the solas or something like that to to lend it to another led but we will see i might be wrong on that so uh, first of all i am going to turn uh, upside down my uh, amiga and you are going to also be uh, able to see what I have inside. The, the feature of uh, Solas that is able to uh, support multiple clock port devices is crucial for me because I have already something like that on my system. So I have uh, two devices right now that uh, are connected to clock port. So I would like to keep on using them. And we are going to see how this is going to work. Of course, uh, have in mind when you have when you are dealing with clock port devices, you have to be uh, extra careful on how you connect them because if you uh, connect them upside down, uh, there might be serious uh, problem on your system on the, on those devices. 
because usually they don't have any uh, protection and you might uh, break them quite easily okay that's great uh, I hope this camera uh, is quite visible for you guys Hello Dedalus, welcome to the stream. Uh, Dedalus is Rob who creates this uh, awesome uh, Solas board and thank you for being here and if you guys want any information from him uh, he is on the chat so ping him. Uh, let me remove some the keyboard and all this stuff. of the case yeah so here we are okay that's better so what we have here uh, as you know the keyboard okay for my keyboard I have the uh, hard membrane that uh, you can find in various uh, different uh, Amica Soaps, as you can see here, it's the extra uh, part of this membrane that is for the Amica 500, if I'm not wrong. And here is the part that you can connect to your uh, Amica 1200. So let me move it at the side. This uh, hard membrane is uh, too easy, it's really easy to uh, install and um, it works always flawlessly so it's a very good uh, addition for anyone that wants to have a very good um, uh, usage of uh, the uh, keyboard. So here it is, we have uh, the uh, Blizzard 1230 uh, the fourth mo uh, the fourth series that was released and the, at the top as you can see it's the SCSI uh, addition that is available for these blizzards so you can add uh, more uh, memory and an SCSI output uh, to connect a CD-ROM or a, an external uh, hard disk uh, Okay, the Falcon says your, your Amiga is full. Yeah, and it's going to get much more fuller. Vedalus, <laughs> uh, uh, I want to find a way to um, fit in here a fast start at some point. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Uh, maybe I'm going to get uh, seven or eight uh, uh, kickstart razors and put the fast data above the solas but we will see how we are going to do it so it has uh, on PCMCIA this um, USB adapter which is the subway and also I have the Prisma Mix uh, which is a very nice uh, hardware to uh, release the PCMC the uh, playback of uh, audio from the CPU. That <laughs> uh, says uh, that is indeed a full, uh, very full uh, Amiga 1200. Hoping Solas will fit now. That's done. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, and underneath I have uh, one more um, clock port expanded, expander which we are going to replace with the solas. So let me uh, see how we are going. First of all I have to remove the two kickstarts. Those are um, kickstarts 3.2. I think I just have to remove only the first the, the low one okay everything seems fine 
and as you can see this um, clockboard expander also uses the riser to take data from the uh, kickstart hello Aris Amiga welcome to the stream so let me remove the clockboard expander and the kickstart riser slowly okay and move it at the side um, as I can see here port 0 port 1 and let's see the red one is the red side is at it doesn't have the the number of the pin we will see how it works uh, Rob um, have you ever uh, any information from anyone if uh, Solas works uh, fine with Prisma and uh, Subway I hope uh, that it, it will work let me remove one of them here and see if we have any pin indication actually it has yeah it's really difficult to to see i guess especially with the camera that i have that uh, at the the right side the top uh, pin is uh, number one so i guess solas has number one from this side from the left side because i see here a uh, number 40 indicated and this size is uh, pin 19 so i guess that's the way that i need to connect them uh, Bevel says, uh, what connector is on that expander? The same adapter might work with Solas if it physical fits. You mean uh, connect this expander in a clock port on Solas so you can get even more uh, clock ports? I've not heard either, but the clock port splitter portion uh, is almost identical to that expander. Okay. Falcon says uh, one on right on right side. Yeah, the clock port goes from pin nineteen to forty. You are right, Dedalus. Uh, Op eight one says what I'm doing. Uh, Op, welcome to the stream. Glad that you are here. We are going to uh, install Solas uh, board today and make uh, my Amiga twelve hundred uh, glow with uh, a lot of uh, lead and uh, I don't know if you are aware about Solas uh, Solas is a little uh, board that uh, Rob Crongley is uh, developing he's uh, on the chat and uh, this board has uh, also clockport expander and um, it is also able to, to measure uh, the temperature on the CPU if you have it and uh, things like that and also you can uh, have which is the main feature of Solas you can have up to two uh, LED strips and uh, make them uh, flash uh, uh, with many different ways even if you connect it to the audio output 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 uh, you can make it uh, flash based on the audio that you are listening to so today, OP, we are going to install it on my uh, Amiga 1200 and see how it works and also see how it works, uh, the software and everything. Uh, that all says, uh, no, the ROM portion of the adapter. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, uh, it is, uh, where is it? Yeah, it is also uh, glued, so I can't break it from here. Uh, that says some people put pin one as pin 19 
other put in, uh, put pin one as pin forty. So be careful. <laughs> okay. A disco amiga, yeah, I'll be a disco amiga. So uh, first of all, I'm going to install this uh, kickstart riser. Always remember when you play with your kickstart on the uh, Amiga 1200 that the far uh, left uh, uh, pins are not used. Okay, they have to be uh, clear, not connected on your kickstart. Otherwise, you are going to have issues with your kickstart. So this is done and that was the easy part let me put the ROM in here Okay, everything seems to be connected and no pin out of the <laughs> uh, riser. So this was the easy part. Uh, let me also um, find my mouse and get Rob's uh, from the website. Rob has created a manual which is online. You can find it. Let me post here the um, URL. There you can find the manual for Solas, but there are also um, links to see what Solas is if you are interested about it. And if you would like to uh, have your own, uh, contact uh, Rob and you, he is going to uh, discuss with you if it is possible to get one or not because the shortage of the uh, parts influence us a lot and a lot of projects uh, have uh, issues on deliveries, right? So yeah, feel free to, to talk with uh, Rob and he is going to, to help you with that. So right now I see that uh, one uh, problem is that we might have is with the uh, individual let me see if i can and i hope that it will fit or not no ah it needs some more space from the division so let me move it at the side and see if i can make both of them fit because mine in division um, which is the first one, uh, the first division that was released, uh, the MK, uh, MK2 uh, division, uh, it has all, uh, this huge uh, connector here, which take a lot of space in my opinion. Uh, so let's see if I can make it fit somehow. Look here, uh, the, the problem is just a small uh, part at this point. I don't know if it is uh, visible for you, but it, it almost fits, almost. Let me see how we can make it uh, fit. I might need to desolder this uh, port to make everything uh, fit as good as possible, but not today if you can see let me uh, move this camera here uh, here is almost <laughs> the 
this header port is uh, in the way for the um, individual so I will have to find a, a way to make it uh, fit as well and we will see yeah it is it is on the way I don't know if I could uh, if I could use the old riser the old um, clock port expander like that and then connect solas here like that somehow what do you say Rob is it possible but I'm afraid that even if I that I will need to put this uh, uh, this kickstart razor as well so this kickstart is going to get a little bit higher and it might work uh, yeah this uh, there was a second release of uh, the division mk2 which was the rc uh, version which didn't have that uh, connector there uh, this will but i think you have a problem yeah yeah <laughs> i have a serious problem now don't break the board of course i'm not and mk3 and uh, rob says that he checked that with uh, mk2 and mk3 in division and it fits yeah yeah it's it's just a, a few millimeters that if i uh, remove this header i'm going to be great uh, and i i don't believe that i'm going to miss it to be honest because uh, I'm going to, I'm going to still have these two uh, boards that I, I need these two ports uh, thanks uh, Falcon thank you for your wishes uh, Falcon letter says for this you need fast data uh, clock port riser okay Level says, I think that will be too tall to fit under the keyboard. You think so? Let me let me have a look because yeah, yeah, you are right. It is going to be too tall. So as I understand right now, the only way to make it work is let me remove that is to remove the header so and vandalize what uh, rob uh, created which is uh, which is a pity to be honest and if there is a way to avoid it i would like to to find it or or uh, sand a little bit here 
this area or cut a little bit this area with something and see if the, uh, that will uh, make us gain some um, space what do you think? Uh, Mega Gamer says, oh, a naked uh, 12 color, yeah, <laughs> it's a dirty stream. Thank you for being here, uh, uh, Mega Gamer. Uh, Rob says, uh, oh, that's uh, the, the one I've tested, sorry. Okay, I think that will be total, okay, right. Uh, if you feel uh, confident with the soldering abilities, you could replace the host connector yeah <laughs> Amiga Gamer says if any parts uh, won't fit back in send them to me <laughs> what do you what do you, do you need <laughs> Amiga Gamer tell me I have uh, this expander that it will be uh, an extra after I'm going to install Solas if you are interested. I see that fast data uh, riser don't help in this case. Yeah. PPC 603 cable uh, top plastic. You you mean this one, eh? I could, but I'm uh, worrying a little bit for the for the cable. Damn. These things always break, always break. I don't know why we still uh, use things like that. You mean something like that? If I connect it the right way. Would be better. Yeah, but I don't. Yeah. And if I'm not wrong, I have here. It's better to vandalize the connector then vandalize the solar bolt right for the connector you can find another one and fix it if you want to sell your card <laughs> or something so Uh, usually Rob uh, does uh, things like that with uh, his Amiga powered on and uh, he uh, removes cables and adds cables and things like that. I'm, go I'm not going to try that. I'm not that confident. And as I said, I'm trying to avoid to burn my uh, 1200 today. Falcon 11 says you can try without Indivision. Unfortunately, if I do, we will not have um, anything to see on the screen uh, because I don't have any other way to, to show anything on the screen. So right now uh, it, it fits quite well, but I see that the uh, pins of the cable are too close with the solar. So I will need um, some uh, tape to put it there. Uh, let me grab one and I will be back.
I'm back. Uh, let me catch up with uh, the stream, uh, with the chat. You can try without the division, yeah. So I got some tape to insulate this uh, area. Uh, <laughs> need nothing. I'm mean, gamer says need nothing, want everything. <laughs> I, I'm sure you do. As uh, all of us, right? So let me put here some uh, tape to isolate things the best way we can. I don't think that we are going to have any major issues because of that. Although that I would like later at some point to find a way to put back this uh, plate here on the connector and uh, keep it uh, uh, working because always it, it's the problem that at some point you might move this cable and disconnect and uh, then you are going to have troubles to make it work the, the best way. So let me see, I think it's enough. Let me put it back. And I hope this is going to be our last big issue with yeah much better good idea guys thank you so so far we break one connector that's good <laughs> it goes well <laughs> uh Tyrell says yeah make sure those bear contacts aren't sorting against the solas yes uh, I don't mind damaging my test machine, but uh, so stressed about damaging someone else. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you, Omega Gamer, for hosting this stream. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, it's so close, uh, Rob. But that's not a problem. That's not a problem. As far as it works fine, uh, if you have... Um, actually... The best way to do it maybe would be to have a riser here uh, for the clock port. You can find risers in uh, various Amiga uh, uh, shops, online shops, and get a riser and make it uh, higher. Um, but I don't know if I would choose that because, as I said, I'm I'm thinking to to even buy a, a fast data and make it work in here and fit but i don't know how much uh, this will succeed so if i'm not wrong and remember correctly this goes here at that side let me check rob's um, manual on the online manual yes does it have a specific way to go probably Okay, let me put it this way. So, uh, so right now I think I have the 14, no, I have to put it on the other side. So the 14, is this side here and Rob has um, at the bottom of Solas says A14 with small letters here which is not uh, helpful for me being old enough so uh, A14 I guess it's which one uh, It's the left one or the right one? I have a multimeter. Let me bring that as well. But I don't have it here. 
very good. So uh, PVC603 uh, proposed about the multimeter, be sure for non-contact there. Okay, I will do that. Uh, Falcon Leather says uh, the Amiga never gives up, never. <laughs> Vedal says, if you reverse it, it just swaps the order of uh, the extra clock ports. Okay, so it's not a big deal. But the thing is, uh, Rob, I don't know if you remember, uh, from the two pins of uh, the kickstart, the left is the 14 or the 15. I don't know how uh, the kickstart legs are numbered. So let me check again the manual. Uh, uh, Rob says I can't remember, but there is a small triangle on the connector to mark pin one. So let me check that again. Yes, okay. The, this mark is from the underside where you see the, the two connectors. That's the one. So I, I have to put it this way. So that's great. Great. Awesome. One step at a time. <laughs> and then what we have to do, as I said, guys, it's the first time that I uh, connect the solas. So uh, let's see how it goes. And if I burn my uh, Amiga, you are going to have so much fun over there watching me burning my computer. So the next one is to get the uh, power from the floppy. So I disconnect my floppy and I get this uh, little uh, cable that Rob sent me, which you can get the... Uh, the power from the board, from the motherboard, and connect it to uh, Solas. So I'm, I'm switching a little bit the uh, screens here so I can see everything. And uh, Rob's manual. So we can get this one here. At the uh, motherboard is play, uh, really uh, easy to, to connect it and on the solas as well like that here okay perfect and then you can get these uh, the power cord that goes to the uh, floppy because I'm having a real floppy and uh, not uh, something else um, something else that connect you connect uh, USBs there, how it is called, I don't remember. And you can, like that, give uh, power to your floppy without any problem. So with that, let's move to the next step. Uh, Falcon Leather says, uh, we too, first time, but with you. Thank you very much for being here. PVC603 says, one to 40 reverse clockwise. Uh, you mean um, if uh, Rob says here it is the fourth, uh, it is the fourth pin. I guess this is the the fourth pin as it is on the board. So that's yeah, that's marked on the solas as well. So uh, previously we had like that the first pin. Yeah, I think I see the previous um, clock port expander, which actually uh, it is uh, created by Matthias Monk uh, from the back in uh, 2014. And I see here that is the connector of uh, that goes on the motherboard that says the first pin seems like to be the 19th on. Um, on Solas. 
and he points here the first pin so the first pin for this expander as much as i understand is the 19th on solas okay so that's a good way to uh, understand how we need to connect the um, the cl clock port devices <laughs> except you data lucia <laughs> hello sld snake welcome to the stream well yeah today sld snake we have uh, hardware and we have uh, 1200 and we have uh, everything and i hope that we will not have a uh, smoke <laughs> when we put everything uh, on power real floppy is real floppy <laughs> windows yeah like this computer right uh, rob says based on my design from 2002 seriously uh, this was created based on your design uh, rob i i was not aware about that Falcon 11 says, yeah, 1 uh, equals to 19, okay, goes to 19, so uh, these uh, cables that were on the first pin and the red side should go to the 19, okay, but before we connect the PCMCI uh, devices, we have a, a few more things to connect, so here in Solas, there are uh, two headers to connect fans. I don't have a fan on my system, and uh, to be honest, I don't plan to uh, install one at any point. Um, because today that I opened uh, and uh, turned on the Amiga 1200, it was so nice that he didn't listen to any fan uh, rotating, so I want to keep it like that. But uh, Solas, uh, for you to know, Solas has uh, two headers, one for 5 uh, volt fan and one for 12 uh, volt fan, which is great. And it also has uh, two headers for temperature uh, measurements, which I guess are the uh sensors that are included and you can uh, put them for example i can put one above the individual or uh, close to my uh, blizzard and then i can get from the uh, software the information about uh, the temperature PPC 603 says never, Amiga never dies. I hope so, because if I, we connect something wrong here, it will be quite dead. Uh, some devices use pin 40 as pin 1. Example, ICOM devices. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it, it, the PCMCIA devices need a lot of... Uh, to, to watch about them a lot, because if you connect them at the opposite side, then you have a burnt uh, device. <laughs> You need to take care of them a lot. Uh, welcome, Preseda. Welcome to the stream. Uh, yeah, you see us all as here, and we are installing it for the first time on this machine, and I hope we, you will not see any smoke. Uh, PPC 603 says, or the system temperature. The system temperature. Oh, yeah, if you, if you put it wherever you want, can say the the you mean the the computer temperature yeah but uh, based on my experience this uh, individual uh, makes the chip underneath uh, quite hot and uh, you might want to to measure that and also the 6030 uh, is getting uh, quite hot as well so but before I connect any um, uh, sensor I would like to go based on uh, uh, Rob's manual and see what uh, step by step what is the next one so uh, he shows on the next one the lead stream uh, the lead strip um, let's see uh, if we want if we need to do it to provide solas with a drive activity signals use the provided 5 pin cable to connect the board to the keyboard lead okay
So uh, by that, you give the, to Solas the information from the drive activity. And I guess that's, uh, that means the hard drive and the floppy drive, if I'm not wrong. Rob says there are two sensors, one is longer than the other, so you can, yeah, actually he's right, quite longer, and you can swap them and put it wherever you want. 50 degree on uh, all 30, right, yeah. So uh, Rob says yes, exactly, and I guess he means about the drive activity. So the thing is that you need the drive activity um, to feed it to Solas, if you want to use it uh, on the the effects that you are going to use uh, that you are going to have on the uh, LED stream a uh, strip right so let's uh, connect it underneath uh, so we have here this cable uh, that Rob uh, provides with uh, Solas yeah, the the first one is marked as red and uh, based on his manual the first one is from this side on the board like that the first one is from the left side of the board and actually that's marked on the board as well and then you have to move it and connect it on solas the first pin is at the top so I hope that's right. Great. Oh, the things here seem so so stable. <laughs> that's awesome. Preseda uh, says also division has uh, fifty degrees measured by Solas. Yeah. My God. Yeah, it's. Uh, if you uh, if you use it uh, quite a lot time it it gets uh, really hot it, it depends also the i think it depends on the resolution that you might use i usually have a 1024 to 768 so i think that's a good resolution to make it to not make it uh, quite hot but since we have the solas right now i will uh, measure that if the resolution uh, has any effect on um, individual uh, temperature so so far we are uh, good and let's speed up a little bit so we can see everything working in this lifetime okay i'm going to connect this uh, connector from the LEDs after we put the uh, keyboard and then the next ones are yeah the LED stream we are going to have fun now and let's see so um, Rob proposes that you have to glue the uh, LED strip here under the ventilation area like that and the uh, LEDs to be towards the uh, motherboard okay the cable should be from the side that is the drive so you can connect it to uh, better to to uh, solace let me remove underneath the stream uh, strip the led strip there is uh, the uh, tape to to glue that on the uh, like that on the case it's quite strong so we are not going to have any issues with that let me put it first from this side like that it's going to be fun okay perfect it's not going to go anywhere now as you can see i have here some connectors on my on the back of this uh, upper case 
uh, to connect the Prisma outputs and the inputs in a way to be able to be um, easily connected at the back of this uh, case. So um, here at this side we have these two headers. I'm going to connect it on the strip uh, one and it, there is only one uh, way to go with this uh, if it doesn't connect if it doesn't get into uh, this uh, header probably is because one of the the holes at the let me show you here at the connector is blocked so uh, this is not possible to get into the connector uh, in case you try to put it in the, in the wrong way so yeah we are fine with that and then we have to move on with the headers for the um, sensors great so these uh, these um, the small one those connectors have a, a black a red and yellow um, cable the yellow cable goes always at the bottom of uh, facing always at the bottom of these uh, solas so i'm going to put it here hello jma welcome to the stream Uh, Rob says, well, a little bit closer to the key so that it's not blocking the vents and he means about the, the LED strip, so yeah, I think that's good. Uh, <laughs> Perseda says, uh, Volcano actually has a lot of fans. Thank you for being here, Perseda. Uh, all of you, of course. Rob says, uh, I think the LED strip won't fit well there with the floppy drive. Oh, let me have a look. If you think so, and you have measured everything so many times, I'm, I'm sure you are right. So let me... Okay, so you think, you, 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 you say that it's better to move the strip, the LED strip um, closer to here at this side, that, that it has a, a small gap I eh? eh? think that's what you mean yeah, yeah, that's better and uh, actually um, that's what Rob shows uh, at the manual but I haven't seen that so it's my fault he has created such a good uh, manual online and read the fucking manual, man. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I think you are right. That feels much better right now. In there. Okay, so uh, we have that connected. Prisma is floating. Uh, around usb subway is floating around that's perfect and i wonder if we would like to connect it no we have the um, sensors so i'm going to get this a uh, small one and put it remove this uh, This cover arts from the uh, tape. All right, that, and I will uh, connect the uh, glue that on at the side of the floppy. No, at the bottom of the here. Yeah, it's it's fine, and the other sensor with the yellow cable at the bottom. Yeah. I will uh, glue that 
above in division here, for example. That's perfect, I guess. Okay. To be honest, at some point, uh, I would like to, to create some plastic bases here so that I won't have uh, this subway and the uh, prisma floating around and make things more uh, stable and uh, but i'm not sure how i can do it with uh, 3d printing or if i should um, use polymorph plastic which you can uh, melt and uh, make it the way that you want and then it gets uh, quite strong which is very good i used it before and it's a very good uh, material to to work with uh, let me see on the chat. Uh, Javier says, uh, welcome Javier. Uh, by the way, nice doggy session last stream. Ah, that's good. I, I'm glad you liked it. I see some of my doggies. Uh, thanks a lot. A lot of your doggies <laughs> are there. Yeah. Thank you for creating them. Uh, Rob says uh, they use one of the common addressable uh, RGB protocols. Okay. Um, Falcon Leather says and cable from LED strip is okay with floppy. The cable from LED strip here, if it is okay with floppy, if you close the Amiga, I guess it is going to be uh, pressed a little bit down like that uh, especially from the keyboard so I'm not I expect that it's going to be fine the headers are quite away from the keyboard I believe PPC 603 says uh, oh that's very nice and makes a, a I guess a very nice looking Amiga inside <laughs> yeah yeah uh, what is it you have your back part on the lid? You mean this side, uh, OP? That's some uh, plain um, connectors, jack connectors, that are connected with the uh, Prisma. This is a self-made thing. It's, it's pretty clear that I created that. And uh, that has all the inputs and outputs uh, from the Prisma. Falcon 11 says no power cables but cable lead. Sorry, uh, Falcon 11, I didn't get it. You you don't mean the, you you don't mean the power cables but cable lead. You mean the the one from the for this, uh, yeah, for the color uh, LEDs. Yeah, I, as soon as I put the, the keyboard, we will see if it is, I think that's going to be fine because it is going to come uh, here and that's, that's how far it goes. That's fine. I think that's fine. And um, actually mine is the uh, Bifrost uh, LEDs that I bought uh, some time ago and I don't know if this is uh, measured by uh, by Rob but I think it is I don't know if it is visible from your uh, side but it has it has a lot of uh, cabling it goes up to the kickstarts so I believe it is going to be fine Uh, I think the LED uh, strip should be uh, the other way around with the cable at the other side. This uh, side you mean? Uh, I don't know because it is uh, the... That's the way the Bifrost is created. That's the old uh, Bifrost from uh, 1617. 
Do you think that I all this time I had it uh, on the rock side? I don't think so. We will see. So let's go and burn my Amiga with the this um, by connecting these US, um, clock port devices. So as we decided, the 19 is the first pin. So I'm going to connect it like that here, I guess. And connect also the Prisma, but first let me put it somewhere like here, like that, and then connect it here. Okay, it seems fine. The division is fine. This is fine. Let me see if I can fit it somewhere in here. No, I can fit it here. Maybe. Okay. So I think, ah, yeah, we forgot this connector, which is really crucial because this one is for getting the data uh, for the LED strip to listen to the music that you are uh, playing and this is going to be visible on your LEDs. Uh, Rob says, no, the solar LED strip, the cable hits the floppy drive. So you say, you say that this uh, side from the LED strip this side should be on the this side, right? You didn't understand me about the, uh, my meaning to, to uh, cable, but you will see it. If you close Amiga, when you will uh, want uh, give floppy disk to floppy. If you close Amiga, when you will want give floppy disk to floppy. Sorry Falcon, <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, Rob says on the other side and let's put it on the other side. Thank you for being here Rob because your help is crucial. As you can see, it's I'm not capable to, to stick a LED strip on the Amiga. So yeah, that's, thank you very much. So yeah, that's it. And the last part, so to get it, to get that information, you have to go at the, um, at the first pin here at the side. So I hope I can do it underneath my uh, hard disk, like that, okay, and then connect it, there is a header under all these cables here, that connects the audio, like that, and then you probably can, okay, connect here the hard disk so it fits quite well let me show you the whole mess that i created uh, does it focus quite well so here you have the the cable if you check of course uh, uh, rob's uh, manual he has clear uh, photos of everything and yeah i think we are going well and soon we are going to be able to to power it on okay this is connected this is connected let me put the keyboard
Uh, Aris Amika says George is loading. Yeah. Falcon Eleven says uh, yes. Rob uh, has right, and I think Rob has. Ah, okay, that's great. Okay. For a sanity check, use your multimeter to test for shorts before you power it on. Yep. Uh, let me bring bring it, and I'll be back. I'm back again. So I have uh, a really cheap uh, multimeter that I'm I bought really cheap, <laughs> and uh, I use it only for situations like that where I need to check for uh, continuity or uh, for um, small voltages. And yeah. It's so cheap that it doesn't even beep. So, yeah. Let me see now. Uh. Yeah, the the header seems fine. I don't see any problem with that, any connection, okay. Fine, this is fine. Uh, The uh, Rob says the simplest place to check is the middle pins of the fan connector to ground. The middle pins of the fan connector, okay, to the ground. And I guess here it's fine. Or here. I don't see any connection. I, oh no. From the 5 volt. Header, the middle pin seems to be connected from the 12 volt it doesn't seem to be connected uh, that will make sure that the 5 volt and 12 volt rails are not aren't sorted okay for uh, Falcon 11 says for short circuit is uh, enough yeah Amica Gamer says, uh, I want a multimeter that just says 5 volt, 12 volt, <laughs> short replace cap. I think that's uh, something that you can find with just LEDs there. So Falcon 11 says, not good, ground to ground. Ground here, it should be. Yeah, it seems that the the fan uh, connector of uh, the 12 volt is not the middle one is not connected to um, the ground. This one is fine. The other one, the other ones are not connected. Okay. I think we are fine to go and plug it in and see fireworks. And uh, 
let me see one more thing okay Yeah, okay. Let's put the keyboard. Great. Uh, What still using old uh, disk drive instead of a Gotek? Yeah, I don't, I do, I'm not that fan of a Gotek to be honest. Know that it is, it's not working as it should, but since I have my uh, trusted uh, floppy and it works pretty well, so I would like to, to continue using it. That's the most difficult part of the assemble to put the keyboard and the lights. As they should be. Oh, okay. So for the keyboard lights, uh, Rob has uh, five pins here on Solas. But mine, the, the, the one that is uh, not used, is blocked. So I need to unblock it somehow. I think I have a way to do it. Uh, let me find. So because of this uh, blockage, I can't uh, connect it with, my, with the solas. So let me let me break one more thing. Okay, great, great, and let's connect it again. And I think we are fine. Okay, I'm not going to close that yet and I'm going to put some uh, mouse our screen okay it's a mess here <laughs> quite a mess power and let me see if I have any warnings from anyone uh, Amiga Gamer says I still don't have a Gotek. I set everything up on WinUI, then transfer the CF. Yeah, I that's a good uh, solution, Amiga Gamer. I have no nostalgia for floppy anything. Okay, um, you'll need a hammer to close the case. <laughs> I hope so. I hope not, uh, Javier. You really have a lot of uh, a lot in your uh, Amiga 12 hardware. Thank you, OP. I I, I have the necessary things. <laughs> the says, ah, oh, yes, the extra pin is used by some people for PCMCA activity. Ac exactly, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Rob, I, I always wondered about that. This pin is uh, already connected on the motherboard, or do you need to make any hack? To make it uh, work. Uh, Falcon 11 says if you cut it on Solas, yeah, you can do it as well, but I wouldn't like to, to vandalize Solas, right? 
That, uh, Tetzel says, that's why I left the pin on Solas. Mm -hmm. Okay, clear. Uh, the okay idea for PCMCIA, yeah. Cross fingers. <laughs> I think that we are going to be fine. It's not something that has to do with luck, but years of experience. <laughs> that's my final uh, words. <laughs> A wise, a wise man sometimes said, that's my experience. Okay, let's fire it up and see if everything works and for how long. Uh, full computer. So we have light on power. That's great. Let me uh, load down the... Uh, top camera, you see already the solas working in here, you see the lights are working fine, so we have light, and uh, let me see, yeah, nothing smells like burnt down, that's good, let me get rid of some stuff here, okay, so thank you very much thank you thank you everyone for being here uh, i'm sorry that we can't uh, i can't show you uh, right now the software and uh, yeah the, the the screen doesn't want to to, to work uh, i'm sorry about that i hope you had uh, fun uh, with the installation like uh, i did uh, I have a little mess here, so I want to, to packet everything the, the right way and uh, close that uh, uh, the case and uh, have fun with uh, Solas the rest of the weekend and maybe uh, next uh, week I'm going to show you all the things that you can do with the uh, software. I have to, to make uh, myself familiar with that as well. Uh, Fucking level says uh, everything real, uh, uh, what is good. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want to do uh, with the, the live streams for having this uh, conversation with you guys. And thank you for everyone for being here. Um, and uh, also I would like to, to thank everyone and uh, my supporters. I, I don't know if you have heard me before, but I have a page for uh, for you to support me if you like what I'm doing with the live streams and the software that I develop. And uh, this is on uh, Coffee slash Volcaro and I, I would like to thank all my supporters and uh, especially my monthly supporters who is uh, Daniel Gentlika, T. Livelord and uh, Roman Kagin. Thank you guys for uh, all your support. And also I would like to, to mention here that um, 50% of all the donations at the end of every month are donated back to uh, people uh, who create things for the Amiga community for uh, either they are developing software or they are uh, keeping some uh, websites uh, uh, on uh, running and uh, we can have uh, their uh, services and use their software as well. So uh, remember by uh, donating to my page, you also donate uh, to other uh, Amiga developers. So I would like to thank everyone who supports me and all of you for being here uh, today. And I wish you have a great uh, weekend. Thank you everyone. Bye bye.